Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to do it yourself with our No Dig DIY landscape border. Don't spend hours or even days breaking your back digging a border. With four simple materials, you have a beautiful lasting and back saving border. So stick around. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the bell for notifications. In the before images, you could see the old landscaping border was very unattractive and ineffective at keeping weeds out. But notice the transformation to amazing with the easy DIY no-dig border. And now for the six steps to complete your project. In step one, you're going to need to purchase these four materials shown here. The Vigoro edging is flexible yet rugged. This product can be purchased at your local home improvement store or you can click on the link in the description below to get it from Amazon. You're also going to need fast setting concrete mix. Any brand of concrete mix is fine, but make sure your bag says fast setting. This is a key factor in the technique working perfectly. You're also going to need extra spikes and the galvanized 8 inch long spikes work better than the plastic ones provided with the box of edging. They also happen to be cheaper than buying bags of extra plastic spikes. This is my favorite landscaping block from Lowe's. I'll link them in the description below. For step two, you're going to begin work by laying out your plastic border. When you're finished with your work, you're going to be happy for many years to come that you took the time to create pleasing curves on your no-dig border. You might want to practice laying out the design first with a garden hose, but take your time on this step to create a pleasing curve that will complement your house. In this example, I'm laying the border down over dirt because I'm reducing the size of the landscaping area, but this technique also works perfectly right on top of grass if you're creating a new area or making yours bigger. For step three, you'll prepare the bed of concrete. For your own protection, go ahead and grab a pair of gloves, a mask, and eyewear for this step. I like to spread the concrete mix out to about one foot wide. Either a stiff piece of cardboard or a small board will work to level out the concrete using the edge of the plastic border as a guide. And I like to have a slight upward angle towards the house side just by eyeballing it. Spreading out the mix to about a foot wide, one bag of concrete mix will work for about five linear feet. And you'll appreciate the extra width of the concrete because it will go a long way towards keeping invasive grass and weeds out of your landscaping. This extra cement width will be conveniently covered with mulch when you are finishing your landscaping area. For step four, it's time to lay the blocks. Just set your blocks down and tap them into place. If you'd like to use a rubber mallet for this, that's just fine, but it's not necessary. The idea is to get them to settle down into the mix a little. In this top view, you can get a better idea of how things will look while you're still working on it. For step five, it's time to fill in the gaps with the cement. Using any old cup, toss the cement mix in between the blocks from the backside to quickly fill in these gaps. This will strengthen the finished border and also help with weed control. For step six, you're going to spray your masterpiece thoroughly with a mist of water. This special fast setting concrete mix will soak up just the right amount of water and begin setting before you're even finished spraying it. A fine mist will thoroughly saturate the entire bed of concrete without disturbing your work. Spray for a few minutes until you're confident it's had enough. It may also soak up water from the ground if the ground is wet. Imagine the concrete mix is like a sponge soaking up the water. And you can be confident it'll absorb just the right amount of water and begin setting without worry. This special concrete mix is made to work like this and this step is as easy as it looks. Here's a clip from another one of my videos where I make a tree ring and mist the concrete with a garden hose. 
Again, use the mist setting and spray thoroughly. And there you go. You have a beautiful, well-built border that you'll enjoy for years to come. Well, you can see how easy it is to create a beautiful DIY no-dig border without breaking your back. We hope you enjoyed this video. I want to encourage you to leave your questions and comments. We always try to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and click the bell for notifications. We'll see you in our next video.